this video is still on the um, about isomorphisms and I'm still giving some examples of um, isomorphisms okay now we we have this G G is the, um, the symmetrical linear group of matrices uh, 2 by 2 with entries in R and we are uh, we have this map from G to G right from yes from G to to G okay let us check if phi is an iso morphism is phi an isomorphism okay what is phi phi is the, the the mapping of the function that takes um, matrices so a will be a, a matrix in g right so in a symmetrical linear group and thus this uh, we call we call this a conjugation we call this map this phi of m mapping we call it conjugation you probably you probably saw that in in linear algebra We saw in some previous video the, um, to check if a certain uh, map from a group G to another group G, if it is an isomorphism or not, in four steps. One, first we check mapping. Uh, we define a candidate, so here we have phi, a candidate, and we check if phi maps G into G, then we check if it is 2, if it is second step, if it is 1 to 1, injective, if it is injective, then we check if, it's, if it is onto, subjective, um, and fourth step we check if it is um, if it preserves the operation okay so step one would be <coughs> mapping right um, well this is really easy right because the inverse of m times a times m uh, wait a sec um, I'm going to, to explain from the beginning. Um, okay, well, we have a function here, right? Phi of m that takes g into g, right? And g is the symmetrical linear group of matrices 2 by 2, two, by two with entries in R. Um, so if I pick a certain matrix A um, am I mapping matrices in ma matrices well the, the symmetrical linear group is, is the group uh, the determinant of the matrices equals one, right? That's the symmetrical. That is the symmetrical linear group of matrices n by n with entries in R, right? The determinant equals one. So let us check if, if I do the determinant. 
of inverse a m what do I get? Well, I get the determinant of the inverse of m times the determinant of a times the determinant of m right okay but all these matrices they live in the linear system and in the linear system all matrices have determinant 1 so this will be 1 right so we can say that m inverse the um, the conjugation is in G, right? Okay, so the mapping condition is checked. Um, we have to check now if it is injective, right? If it is one to one. Okay, let us see if phi of M of matrix A if this um, equals phi of m matrix B. So if this is true, so m, right, so the conjugation, right, so it will be the inverse m, uh, the inverse of m, a, m, will be equal to the inverse of m b now it's b here right b m okay now you guys can take you put m here you'll get the identity i i i can do, i can do this i can do this okay i can do this so we have M inverse M equals M inverse B M. So we will left uh, we left multiply by M. Okay, here. So what do we get? Well. M times the inverse is the identity, right? Identity A M equals here identity identity B M. Okay. Um, now we write multiply by the inverse here. Okay, so what do we get? Uh, M times the inverse, this is the identity, right? Well, um, let me do a step before this. Okay, sorry, let me do a step before this. Okay, identity times A, that's A, M equals b m because identity times a equals identity uh, identity times a equals a identity times b equals b okay now we write multiply the the inverse okay so this is the identity and this is the identity again so a equals the identity oh sorry um, a identity equals b identity and that means that a equals b so from if phi of m a equals phi of m b a 
equals b, right? I'm going to rewrite this. Phi of m a equals phi of m b. So that's this, right? This implies that a equals b. So the mapping, the mapping is injective. So we checked mapping and we checked injectivity. Now let us check if this mapping is onto. Okay. Uh, let us pick so it's from G to G, right? So we pick matrix B in G, but I'm considering that B um, is in this G here. Um, so if there is for each B in G, there will be a A in G because it's taking G from to, to G. Uh, such, so for all B in G, there must be one A in G such that uh, phi M of A equals B. Okay. Now, okay, so there, there must be one A in G. But if there is a one matrix A in G, how is that matrix going to be? Well, that matrix is going to be defined this way, right? So if there is one, it will be M inverse times A times M, right? And it will be equal B. Uh, well, but we know what this is through conjugation, right? Because then this will be A equals M B M inverse. I hope I did not jump here. Um, I don't know if this step is clear for you. Okay. And so A is here. So being subjective, being onto is proved. Okay. Here, uh, what we have here is so the matrix A should be this way, right? Equals B. And um, um, equals B. What we do is we do the left multiplication on both sides and right multiplication with the inverse. Okay, so here you get the identity, here you get the identity, so identity times A times identity, you get A, and here you have M times B times M inverse, this conclusion. Okay, so step three is checked. Last, last step, is it uh, operation preserving? Well, um, we take one A and B in G, okay? And let's do the 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 homomorphism phi from A B. Of course, this phi is phi of M equals M inverse AB times M, right? Because phi of M of AB 
now we don't have hey here we have a b okay so So what I have here is M inverse ABM. So I can write it this way, right? And now I could add the identity here, right? If I put the identity here, I don't change anything, right? Because A times B is A identity B. Well, that's the same, right? Okay, and the identity is M times the inverse, right? Okay, so I can put brackets here and say that this is equal, so I'm going to join these three and inverse a m and m inverse b m. Okay, okay, but what is this? This is phi m of a and what this is this is phi m of b so you do get the, the, the it is a homomorphism so it is operation preserving okay so well yes so taking phi from SCL2 R2 SCL2 with entries in R through conjugation. What is conju conjugation? Is this phi of m of a equals m inverse a m, right? So we can say phi of m conjugation is an isomorphism.